battery hunt and uh, we're starting to feel that the body is tight now. Um, but yeah, it feels good. Um, pumped to get out there again. Beautiful weather once again this morning. It's gearing up. Um, taking the big pack, a bit of extra stuff uh, in case we do open item. Um, yeah. What are we talking now? Five. Once again, like each other morning, we made the hike, the one and a half to two hour hike up into the hunting grounds, up in the hills. All worth it getting up this early, as you'll see. Well, we got up to this first spot, nice open clearing, about 60, 70 metres on each side. Had a bit of a moan, but um, no reply, maybe something way, way up. So we're just going to push on. Unloaded. Nothing much going wrong. Nothing happening anywhere near our tent. So. Um, yeah. Pack light for the day. Got some lunch, and we're gonna go head up higher into these uh, mountain ranges here, hills, and um, yeah, new territory. With no animals responding to our moans, we just pushed on hard. Not worrying about making noise, pushed on a few kilometers up into the hills and uh, until we got to some new ground. Then we let off some, let off some calls. We started coming across some nice sign, a few hoof prints, very fresh, and once we got into this thick stuff, there was quite a lot of sign on the trees, rubbing up against the bark from antlers, and uh, yeah, it was looking promising. We made our way through this horrible patch of bush, it was really slow, hard going um, and noisy. Not much chance of stalking in on an animal so we just pushed on through until we, we got into some clearer scrub. There was just fresh sign everywhere. The further we got into this section of bush, the more sign we saw. Just rubbed up trees everywhere. Um, hoof prints, poo droppings, you name it. So we were getting close to some animals. We just heard a few calls being responded and then we spotted this little yearling just dead still looking at us. Didn't know what to do. It probably never seen a human.
again just a unique pretty cool experience in the wild down in Fjordland not often you get experiences like this with with deer that are not so shy as normal so yeah it was pretty cool cute little deer and off it went We moved along to where this ridge dropped off into a big cliff face, perched up and made some noise. There was about two to three different stags right up in the valleys responding to us, but this one was by far the closest. We moved along. We started getting some replies. You can't quite hear it on the camera, but um, yeah, it was a few hundred meters away, um, but it was aggressive. It was responding, which was the main thing. On we went, roaring back and forth for about 15 minutes, uh, but the animal didn't want to budge, didn't want to come in closer, so we had to make the call and move in on him. Off we went down to the riverbed. Doing our best here not to get wet boots, it was too early in the trip to have heavy wet soggy boots. After crossing this river who knows how many times, it was winding down the valley like a big S snake, we finally started closing in on the animal, each roar getting closer, closer and closer. Just when you thought you'd seen the end of the river, it would come back around again. Anyways, we were getting close. Get pushing. We were getting really, really close now. I could smell him. The stench was just so pungent. In the raw, these red deer basically piss all over themselves. They just stink. Kind of like a, a billy goat if you've smelt them. Unmistakable stench. We were very close. He was roaring back and forth, unfortunately. Just couldn't pick it up on the audio. But it was close, it was tense, heart was pumping. I kept checking through the scope, I thought I could see him, but it was just another dried up fern. Anything bright, orangey red, I was checking it out. All I needed was a small part of that body of that animal and I was going to take the shot. Well, after tracking the animal in for about two hours, following his footprints, he was moaning, loud, growling, he was angry. It was just getting more and more difficult to hunt. The mud was getting thicker, more and more sticks and ferns, it was loud, it was noisy, I had to make the call to push in, loaded the gun, 
bullet in the chamber and off I'd charged in. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on film. Woo! Gun smoking. Whoa, what a hunt. Man, I got him. Wow. Woo! That was the most intense hunt of my life. Woo! Jesus. Let's get this thing unloaded. Oh, wow. Jesus. Oh, man. I'm shaking. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Got him. Got him, Blondie. Got the dog. That is the most intense thing I've done in my life. Oh, mate, you did so well because you winded us, eh? Don't worry about jumping out of airplanes, anything like that. That is just... Good man, shit, my man. body's shaking. Mate, we got the dog. Woo! Man, I heard him. He barked, eh? I heard him. He heard us, man. And then I heard him, I heard him rustling, and then I heard him. And he was, I just saw the back half of his body. I didn't, didn't take any risk. I just shot him mid-body. Has he dropped? Yeah, he, he, he rolled down there about... 15 meters and he's just down the bottom. So he's got a reasonable bush head on him as well. Oh, Shot chest, nice good calling, work. brother. As soon as he barked, I was going to start roaring because yeah. he, he, he winded us, eh? Hey? Man, that's man, cool. he, he was in front of me. That's why. That was just the most hardest terrain in there. Like, man, you're just like that's ankle it. deep in mud and then just it would just sink in a dead branch and he knew exactly where we are, but he was keeping his distance. He couldn't couldn't quite know what we were, you know? And, and not on, on the roar, he just kept moving. Oh man, it was not worth even buying. Spent about two hours on him. Came right down to, from the very top of this valley and um, down to the riverbed, crossed a few streams and um, anyways, let's go check him out, eh? We set off to retrieve the animal and man, was my blood pumping. I seriously have never had a more adrenaline packed adventure in my life. It was just intense and that's just what I live for. If you can find stuff like this which gets the heart pumping, do more of it, do as much as you can. That's what I do anyways. As predicted, the animal had dropped pretty much exactly where I thought it was. That uh, that shot had taken him down fast. What an awesome head, man. Oh, look at that. That's a wicked head, man. Awesome. Look, there's a bit of character on that toy, eh? This one coming up. Character, bloody uh, fjord and bush there, eh? Okay? Look at him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points in, a, in an odd matter. Wow, man. Oh. He's, that's a cool, cool, interesting head, eh? Man, that's nice. Yeah, beauty. Oh, crazy, man. We we dropped about two Ks. We really weren't expected to come in this, in this deep into fjord and say so we're, we're, we're a long way from home. <laughs> but it's awesome. It's what you got to do to get these good animals, eh? Hey, what's the plan, Blondie? Uh, cut this animal up, clean the head up. Yeah. And we'll um, we heard a couple of aggressive stags further north. Yeah. So it's probably going to take us two or three hours to get up there, and we'll um. Yeah. We're going to go up and sit up in the afternoon, have some lunch, and then try and have a crack at the head. Yeah, now we've got some um pork buns with a bit of cracking from last night's dinner, so um it's going to go down a treat. Hopefully, spewed up last night's dinner. Actually, ate too much. <laughs> Maybe had a few too many beers, but um. <laughs> oh well, let's rip in, um, get this animal sorted, meat out, head off, and um, have a feed to the breather. That's where I hit him. As I um, thought, basically right mid body, that's all I could um, see. Boom, shooting up, and it's just come out the other side quite high, so I've, um, yeah, it must have busted his spine. He just, I mean, he just dropped dropped straight away he was he was cooked well just got a few picks um, just absolutely pumped like it's my first raw 
first time in the bush hunting and um, yeah we've got some very respectable heads what I've been told in, um, for bush in the last few days so um, yeah I mean I can't ask much more you know hear stories well we were just coming in on the um, about to board the chopper and we had some local guys down here that um, you know they're in the raw every year they've been there for a couple of decades and they were in the bush for two weeks and, and didn't didn't get a one raw didn't see anything so that's how it can be it's like game fishing you know you're out there and trolling you can go weeks without a bite and then next thing a couple of mullet in one day so um yeah I mean just just stoked first time stalking in and seems to be working I suppose there are a lot of things that cross over from from sparing like hunting snapper like there's such an elusive species like that it's been quiet and stealth so um yeah it all goes hand in hand absolutely stoked all right I better get this animal sorted put the head on my little day pack and uh got the meat stashed away. I was really clever and left my rain jacket at the campsite so gonna get saturated. Finally started raining in Fjordland. Got lucky for a few days so yeah pushing on. Wow well, here's our improvised GPS <laughs> iPhone 2030 waterproof. <laughs> Just figuring out a plan. Got a few calls left and right and uh, yeah. Decisions. Off we went, crossing streams and rivers once again. This looked like the best option for a long way, left or right, so um, yeah, made the trek across this big slippery log. I was, I was shitting myself, I'm not really good with stuff like this. Unfortunately, a lot of the bush down here was just ripped up, all the ground from pigs. A lot of wild pig sign everywhere and then, uh, yeah, we finally encountered one in the action, doing his deed. Pretty impressive, these young little pigs, little snout ripping up the ground. Um, yeah, he looked up, saw us, wasn't very phased, carried on what he was doing. <laughs>
There is. Down? Down? Yeah. Nice bro. Shut up. Awesome bro. Hooks alright? Jeez, I didn't see him, eh? Man, I could only just see him, eh? You see his ass or something? Nah, no, I think I, I tried to shoot him in the neck, but I don't know where I got him. Yeah, I think um, he was hurt, he stood up again, but um, he might have been really ready to keel over, but... He, he knew we were there, man. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, awesome, bro. That's Good amazing. spotting. He just, just come over for a look at us, eh? Wicked, bro. Let's, um... Two shots, I must have. See, he was up and down, up and down, eh? Miss for? Yeah, where did that? Alright, let's go, um, let's go have a look. Awesome. So Quite happy. Just, just smoked another one. We're going to go and retrieve them. Awesome. This rain's not affecting anything. They're just, they're just busy, eh? We've hit the raw perfect timing. They're just very, very vocal. Sweet. Let's go, man. Yeah, just up to the right there, bro. Five meters. Is that the right? <laughs> oh, man. Epic. That's it. Shot between those two trees right there. Awesome. Alright, just try to find them, eh? Just up there. Man. Yeah. Just coming on lunch time. Two stags hit the deck. Awesome. Woohoo! I can smell him. Where is he? Oh yeah. Classic uh classic big bush bites. <laughs> Fuck up brother. <laughs> Well, had some lunch, had a coffee, had some hot soup, took a breather and it uh, wasn't long before we got back into the action. It was just full on. We threw up a few calls just after lunch and almost straight away got a response by a very angry, very aggressive sounding stag. Every time the animal would make a noise we would groan straight over top of them. They absolutely hate it, it winds them up, it gets them really angry. It was really hard stalking in all this tree debris, branches and stuff that had fallen down from the, the canopy, just dry and crunchy and noisy, but um, yeah, we, we managed to edge in closer and closer. Uh, uh, uh. 
This calling went on and on back and forth for about 20 minutes really aggressive so we decided we just need to make a move and pushed in hard I saw him if you look closely here you can see his antler just moving behind the the bush there to the right he was just tucked in behind there groaning away It was time to move. Blondie, gun in hand, ready to fire, horn in his mouth, roaring as he walked, just pushed in. We just went for it. We could see a stump just up a bit further, about 10 metres away from where he was hiding. So that was the goal. In we went. Trying to get the camera working, just <laughs> something was going wrong. Decided to throw it, grab the GoPro just in time as the next piece happened so fast. Now that's epic. That was epic, man. Shut that was up. close. Oh, Woo! Shit. You saw me. Man, there was a running shot, didn't you? Run? <laughs> Shut up. Beauty. Oh, mate. Awesome. How's that? Man. That's just crazy, man. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just wouldn't. He just. He wouldn't we, let us go. We oh. charged him. We just absolutely charged him. Yeah, he just he made heaps of noise. He wasn't budging, and um, yeah, we just made the call, just charge in, charge in, and man, he came charging in, and we met him. <laughs> <laughs> he was there behind this, uh, this stump here. He was literally right there, about four meters away. Blondie saying, "Should I shoot? Should I shoot?" I said, "No, no, no, just just get a bit of bit on film." And finally, saw me and took off, and he just took the running shot and smoked him. So. Oh, I don't think it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, six, <laughs> number six. Oh wow. Let's have a look where this guy came walking over here. Prints and stuff. Oh. Have a look. Yeah. So he was just marching back and forth in here. See all those hoofs, hoof prints hiding in this little area so he really couldn't see us and we couldn't see him there's no way you could see where we were looking out of here so he wasn't he wasn't keen to come out so yeah we just stormed in and he thought shit what is going on and then came storming out at the same time anyways it worked out well beauty
almost 3.30 so we've got to hoof it back to camp before it gets really dark and um, yeah, we're out of here. Blondie was losing his voice so we got the UE boom going. We opted for the shortcut route home, steep, wet, muddy, slippery, but uh, hey, it was worth it after the, the morning's hunt. Not all easy terrain in Fiordland, some very hard sections and uh, definitely not for everyone, but definitely for a lot of us, it's just an awesome reward after a big day, coming out to meet stories and um, a wrecked body. Feels good. We had a bit of a giggle. It seemed every five or ten meters, Blondie was just falling over and collapsing, and vice versa. We were pretty knackered. and uh, shit it's pissing down now but we're gonna have a nice little campfire we've got some snailers and bread in there have a nice cook up we'll cruise back down down a bit later um, yeah it rains really setting in we're gonna shoot back to the lodge and have a bath and I'm in no <laughs> bath tomorrow oh, this, this guy's boots oh. he's been chopping them to pieces all day they feel like two car batteries <laughs> <laughs> we've had a cut all, but we've got some animals and had an awesome day, so anyways, have a feed and call it. How's this? Middle of fjord run. Awesome. Oh, that's looking good. Let's have a feed and go. That tent's not going to hold up. We've just made like a little... Push yeah, everything man. into the middle and, and that's it. Well, the middle's going to get wet because it's all... Cool. The water's going to be Fuck. Oh well, it's pissing down now with rain and we don't trust our little warehouse tent. So we're getting out of here. Thanks for the lodge. Alright, peace out. Well, what an awesome week it's been down here hunting in Fjordland. First hunt... Uh, in real bush and first time in Fjordland, first raw hunt and we came away with some awesome animals. Uh, we've got some heads here to prove it. So as far as Fjordland bush tags go, I think we've done pretty well. Some very, very solid antlers um, and more importantly just the memories to go with those hunts. It was just incredible, an incredible experience. I'd heard how awesome it can be in the bush chasing these stags and hearing them roaring, you know, 15 meters away and you still can't see them. And um, yeah, it just lived up to, to all the stories I've heard. Just an incredible experience. Highly recommend getting into the bush if you're into your hunting and in um, the roar and, and, you know, 
get in one on one with these animals because yeah it's it's just very rewarding it's hard we covered massive caves in the most intense bush and stuff yeah it was just um just hectic but um very very rewarding anyways so we've um come out of here got our heads got plenty of meat to take home and plenty of stories and yeah we'll definitely be back just an incredible place down here in Fjordland New Zealand anyways if you like that guys enjoyed what you saw feel free to subscribe hit a like and, and share leave a comment all that stuff helps me out um, and helps other people see videos like that um, so yeah so all done dusted we're just waiting for the chopper to arrive should be here in 30 minutes and um, we're out of here back into civilization um, haven't been on my phone for a week it's been beautiful no reception down here don't know what's going on in the world out there no one's um, got a hold of us through the caretaker so I don't think anything serious has been happening just the same old stuff so yeah awesome break so yeah see you on the next little adventure I'll be out soon either sparing or hunting and um, get some more action for you thanks for watching cheers